So today we had a public screening event on the AlphaGo documentary and the main objective for today's event was to invite anyone who is interested in artificial intelligence and wants to understand it in an entertaining and in a different way because most of the time we, we teach people artificial intelligence through training events, through hackathons, but we thought that this would be a very, very uh, new, great perspective in terms of uh, letting people know about artificial intelligence and also giving them a chance to uh, converse with the panelists and just network and uh, just grow knowledge-wise uh, regarding uh, artificial intelligence. Hello, I'm AI Kenya. Uh, it's great to see you all. I hear you're about to watch the AlphaGo movie, so I hope you enjoy it. But I guess the message I really wanted to pass on to you is um, be brave, be persistent, uh, follow your dreams and your ambitions, and it's a great time to be involved in machine learning. Where you felt like he's beyond winning and losing. He wants to do something that's innovative or takes things to the next level. So every Go player started his game, for sure. <laughs> Roughly 10 years, he dominates the professional goal world. He wins 18 world championships. The screening was just so awesome, I really liked it. I'm actually impressed by AlphaGo. I think uh, it's, a, it's a good movie, it's a nine opener. What I think about AI is that it's a phenomenal tool that can be used for good and it can enhance our understanding of the world. Uh, the movie has helped me to have a better understanding of that as well. And AI is phenomenal. So after watching AlphaGo movie, I feel really inspired. I feel like we are in this new age of artificial intelligence. It's, um, it's really inspiring and I feel like we're headed in the right direction. I think it is an interesting uh, way to, to show the evolution of AI, like in previous uh, championships or in previous AI programs, they had to encode sort of human experience into the game or into the AI to make it perform well. The first question was the difference between AI and the games that we used to play um, early in the days. I think they're called Atari games. Um, in AI is a general term used to um, define computers that are able to mimic the human behaviors, such as um, reasoning, listening, vision, and whatnot. And um, from my understanding, Minesweeper is just a computer program that's hard-coded, so it's very different from what AI is. Um, just to answer the question on healthcare, there is a lot of technology out there that has been built to help a lot of stuff around healthcare. So think about radiologists. A lot of what they do is literally vision and then deciding what to do based on what they see. And so if AIs are very good at doing one thing only, and you can get an AI to look through billions of CT scans as an example in literally few seconds and diagnose a specific disease way better surpassing human error, then you are basically able to deduce uh, some very important information from things like that. I was inspired by the movie, although a little bit nervous for humanity. Uh, I was actually even though I knew the result, I was rooting for the, uh, the world champion Go player, Lee Sudell. Uh, one, one thing I was impressed about with him, actually, and this has maybe little to do with AI, was his humility. 
and his ability to learn from AI. I think that's something that we're all going to have to uh, adopt. We need to adopt a little bit of humility. As, as AI becomes more powerful than us intellectually, how do we grow and how do we, we become better human beings in the light of this kind of uh, phenomenon? What we've seen today and what AI can do, that means um, we're going to solve some of the biggest challenges the human beings have been facing. We just did this screening uh, to show the people in Kenya that a lot is happening out there and we need to, st to step up the industry, we need to step up our research so that we don't get left behind. Yeah. So the turnout today was actually amazing. Uh, we almost had a full house uh, in the theater and I'm amazed. And I think we'll do another one next year again just to reach out to more people. One, two, three. Thank you guys. So feel free to get